So you guys have to have tremendous patience with dogs working in this film, huh? Yeah. Uh, yes. Did it? Was there times where you thought, you know what, I just don't want to see another dog for a long time? Um, we definitely had our moments where we were like, okay, this is enough. Like every day, 10 hours a day, dogs all the mm -hmm. time. Plus we both have dogs at home, so it was like dog mania for three or four months. Definitely, I own a two miniature poodle, so you know, going into the movie, I, I sort of knew what to expect, and I was really excited to be working with dogs, and um, yeah, it was a pretty crazy experience. Was there one dog in particular you became attached to by the end of the movie? Not so much attached to, one that I favored more and that I really liked was uh, Lenny the Mastiff. I like Shep the Border Collie. That was I did too, favorite. I love Shep too, yeah. I love, I love that dog. This had to be your first screen kiss in the movie, right? Everyone says that, no. No? I've, I've, I've had to kiss someone in Nancy Drew, I had to kiss someone in a movie I have coming out called Wild Child, a movie called Lime Life, a movie called The Winning Season, but you, my what, TV show. I, but I wish you had a more private moment with this, with your co-star. I it's know, like the Don entire... Cheadle walks right in, I was so embarrassed, I was like, No, but you had the whole, the whole cast behind you too. Yeah, and also like tons of extras, it was... It was pretty embarrassing, and you really find out how many people are working on your movie when you when there's a kissing scene because they all like just come and watch, and you're like, "Have you been working on this movie for three months? Because I don't remember you here." <laughs> yes, I was there. I was definitely behind the camera watching. Oh, goody. <laughs> yeah. Giving tips? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh God. No. He's 14. Oh, well, Shield I don't your know. Ears. Well, he could have read about it or watched it. At the time, what? I was 12, so you know. And uh, so when you, your dress got spilt on, how many takes did they do? Because in movies they do things one. over and over. Just one time. And it was like, the, the terrible thing was it spilled on me and we were like, okay, fine, so let's go change. And then I'm like wiping my arm off and I'm like, this is not coming off. And I was like stained, this terrible red stain and everyone was freaking out because we had work the next day and they're like, oh my God, it's just not going to come <laughs> off. So they had to like put this special stuff on me and it finally came off. But yeah, it was, everyone was freaking out. Lisa Kudrow, Kevin Dillon, are they as freaky in the movie as in person? Or? Um, no, I, in the movie they're definitely very freaky and um, you know cruel, but off camera they're really nice, down to earth, yeah. hysterical people. By the way, it was fun. I love Entourage. I love Friends. So getting to work with both of them, I was really excited. Yeah. So this movie definitely has a message in it too. So it's a like few a few messages. Yeah, yeah, a few messages. But most of all, adopt some dogs. Get out yeah. there and find some homes for these animals. No, definitely. it really shows you that there's so many like dog adoptions that you can get dogs through. You can even go to the pound and it's like really inexpensive and you're doing a great thing mm -hmm. rather than going to a breeder, you know, which is completely expensive and just pointless, you know, because there's so many dogs that need homes.